Hello and welcome to Zim Explore. I am Dr. Abstract and in this Zim Explore we're going to take a look at Distill. It's the final of the Golden Functions series. There are four of them for a talk that I'm giving tonight at the Hammond JS Meetup. So let's take a look at Distill then. Nice, huh? This is not really distill, it's just a bit of uh, Zim code. Let's go in and take a look at it. Reduce that down. A bit of Zim code in here in which there is distill. So, uh, the golden functions distill, bring in Zim. Now, Zim or distill is a little bit different than the other four functions in that it's a system that's a little complicated and has not been abstracted or taken out of extracted from from Zim so it's more of a concept that perhaps you can look for in your own code and uh, let's see so we've got some Zim so we've made a tile we've centered that and we're animating the things in the tile that's what we see there now when we bring in Zim is this. That's all of Zim. It's about 500k. And yet we didn't use all of it below. So the idea behind distill is why this thing is showing up here at the bottom. Go away bottom tray. Out! Out bottom tray! Out! Anyway, it looks like we're stuck with it. So uh, we didn't do use all of Zim, only parts of it. So what Distill can do is you turn Distill on before you start anything. So here's Distill, a big capital Distill. That's the Distill constant, set it to true. Now as soon as you do that, every time Zim runs a class or a function, it uh, at the top of those classes and functions is just a quick call to record the number of the function in this array, a distill array. A distill array! <laughs> Get it? Distillery, distill array. Anyway, um, so all the functions are recording their number. Sometimes the functions run more than once and record many times, but that doesn't matter. It will all get distilled down. Now, later on, once you're finished, you know, if it's a full game or something like that, you might want to make sure that you call the distill function. That's what we need to do. Call the distill function right there. Call the distill function whenever you're done the app, when you've used everything in the app. In this case, there's not much happening except, uh, so, so, so we've added a timeout. So we've got a timeout of a thousand. After a second, it's going to call the distill function. Let's try it. And what that does is it tells you uh, in the console here, F12. It tells you there it is. After a second that runs. Those are the numbers of all the functions that have been running. And there's some instructions here. You go to this location. So let's copy those. You copy those like that. Go to the location. Put in a company. Choose which Zim you're using and paste. Those are the numbers. Now, if there's anything that you might be missing for some reason, actually, in, that, in, in this case, there is something I'm missing. The uh, indicator at the bottom left goes from one page to another. And we didn't press to go from one page to another. So actually, I, I would need to go in here and find the the function that does that, which is zgo, zgo, and choose that as well. So now it's going to do all these plus zgo, but you can multi multiple select that if there's any that you think you may have missed. Just ignore that message. And then what happens is it it runs distill, and so our 500k has been distilled down to 103k. Actually, animate uses a fair bit of uh, stuff. It's got all sorts of aspects as well. So you then copy this, copy, copy, and you would go back. 
uh, distill JS actually. This is uh, an earlier copy of that uh, to make it run. So uh, I can hardly see my scroll bar for the bottom because my bottom bar won't go away. Sometimes it does that. I don't know. Some alert in here or something like that. I have no idea. Anyway, there it is. Probably the same one. I'm not going to bother. But that's that's all the minified code of specifically what was used. All right. So um, then once we put that in a file, distill.js, we no longer ask for the full zim. Comment that out. We instead ask for the distilled version of zim here. And we run it again. At which point, after a minute, it says, Zim distill done. You can remove the command. So this code just ran. There it is, including I can go to other places there. Uh, I couldn't have if I forgot that Zgo, Zgo. Now, um, this code is running, so we don't need to distill anymore. At which point, we would come in here and say, oh, we no longer need to distill, nor will we call the distill here, the timeout comment those out. Run it again and we're back to a normal. Cool, huh? So that allows you to uh, have less of a, a load. <laughs> less of a load allows your viewers to download less, a little bit faster, a little less data on mobile certainly. Uh, one thing that it doesn't do, which is of slight interest potentially, is that's then not using traditional Zim. If, if you've got users who are always using Zim, then their Zim is probably cached. So we've just unfortunately defeated cache. I mean, it would keep on caching this version that you have here. But uh, there is an advantage, a slight advantage, to having a library cached especially around the world, for instance, CreateJS, which is what Zim's built on, is considered cached by the Internet Advertising Bureau. It's been loaded billions of times, and so they don't count that in the ad size. Uh, one day, maybe Zim will also be the same, but until that point, then you may as well make your Zim as, as small as you can. It can get down to, it has in the past gotten down to 14K, we threw all the colors in and that, that bumped it up a little bit. So we might be sitting at somewhere like if you hardly have anything to distill, you're probably sitting somewhere around 20K, 24K or something like that. So you can get it to be quite small. And heck, even a, even 1K, a thousand bytes, or sorry, 10, uh, where, where are we? sorry, 100K. Even 100K is relatively small compared to images and certainly compared to video. Like many images are 100K. Uh, some are 300k just for an image. So we're getting all of this, all of what you see here, uh, and much more for you know for 100k. So that's good. All right, and that is a little bit about still. Uh, I am Dr. Abstract, and we're here uh, for Zim Explore, and uh, hope to see you. I don't know, maybe at uh, zimjs.com/slack. If you're into it, if you're still here, zimjs.com slash slack, come on in and say hi to us. That's our community. Hope to see you there. Ciao. Have a great day. <laughs> stop recording, not stop the music. <laughs>